Hello Capricorn, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel in Val 33 Tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Well. Interesting. I'm going to push this right away. I'm going to push this for a little right away. Are you running around or are you scrounging around, Capricorn? Um, there's a difference. Are you running around or scrounging around? What you're showing me is there's this overall energy of surrender to some sort of train of thought regarding your situation, your circumstances. But overall, I kind of feel like you're putting something behind you and you're wanting to move forward like very, very snappy and very, very quickly. But overall, with whatever's going on, it almost seems and feels like something is, like something is solely dependent on you. And I'm not too sure what's going on regarding this. It almost seems and feels like you are preventing yourself or maybe you are stalling yourself from fully transitioning or maybe changing something, maybe regarding work, career, finances. I don't exactly know what this endeavor is, but it feels like something regarding your position or status or money. Um, you're showing me you have something in mind of what you're wanting to work on, but it almost seems and feels like whatever it is you do for work or your job or your career, or maybe just your life path, it goes hand in hand with who you are. But for some reason, I'm kind of like wondering as a Capricorn, not me as a Capricorn, as you as a Capricorn, why is it that it's almost like there's work to be done on yourself, but you're not fully 100% doing it? That's what I don't understand. You're kind of showing me I'm putting myself on pause for the sake of some sort of financial endeavor. Ain't that something? Okay, let's let's follow this and see where this goes. And there's the tower following immediately after it. It's almost like saying, that couldn't be good. Not at all. That couldn't be good. You're having the real, yeah, you're having that realization now. It's kind of like shocker. That's that's sarcasm. Shocker. Lots to contemplate. I kind of feel like that kind of like snapped you out of it, Capricorn. Snapped you out of it or snapped you back into it. It's kind of like, hey, you there? Um, not to be an ass, but focus. Focus. Like Capricorn goat work ethic. Um, you're having to take a little bit of a moment to yourself to kind of gather yourself. Like, where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Show up tomorrow. We'll talk about who you're dealing with. Um... Okay, I feel like you kind of just more so in this energy of like, I gotta, I gotta literally I have to refocus and I have to kind of get myself together and gather myself. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> That is, you're, you're lazy, Capricorn. All right, I'm just going to call it. You're lazy. You're lazy. That's lazy. They're kind of like, well, I don't have to do much. And it's like, yeah, you're still lazy. 
This isn't about like name calling or anything like that or knocking you down. You're outright showing me you're lazy. You're like, I got myself presentable. I don't really want to do that much work. I don't really want to do that much change. Even this is, what's, this is what I'm talking about. Even when it comes to work on self, you're lazy. This is an energy of shortcuts. Well, I read the book. I read a couple of definitions. I didn't, I didn't implement it and put it into action to my own life and actually use it to work on myself and better myself. No, I read the definitions. I repeated it somewhere to some people that I was talking to in passing. All of a sudden, now I feel like I'm different because my mindset is per and perspective is different. Words, words, words. You're showing me, well, I guess I'll just decide today to not really do much. That's like, whatever. Yeah, you're, you're still kind of showing me this very arrogant energy of like, it doesn't require much. I'm like, yeah, I, I bet, I bet. And I also see why, whether you're, whether you're like intending to show me this energy or not, I really don't care. I really don't. It's just kind of like, I'm going to still call you out though. You're still lazy. Like imagine that where you could be, who you could be. Imagine that. Let's just think about it for a second. Let's just think about it. You're getting in your own way. You're battling your shadow side, or should I call it your ego? Or persona or mask. What should we how should we refer to it as? You're showing me like, well, it doesn't take that much. It's like, yeah, but you're also not learning everything you could learn. Something here is trying to take you to the next level, take it up a notch to the next step, and you're like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're like, I'm good as is. And it's like, okay, well then why are you here? Why are you here? That's why show up tomorrow. <laughs> I thought you had all this. I thought you had all this under control. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought you had this all under control, Capricorn. Clearly you don't. Clearly you don't. That's what I'm talking about. It's lazy. It's lazy. And I don't, know, I don't know what else to say about that. There's definitely something here between you and someone taking place. But even then, you're stressing out about it. It's like, I don't know what to do besides just kind of like sit here and see where this is going. It's like, that's lazy too. That's lazy. I don't know what else to say about it. You're kind of like, in a sense, the quote, sitting pretty. There's nothing wrong with being, you know, where you're at and who you've created yourself and made yourself out to be. But when you're going through a situation like this and you're a Capricorn with that goat energy, where's that work ethic? Um, you owe it to yourself. And what you're showing me is you're not worth it. You're not nothing. Um, you're saying you're presenting yourself with your mask. Well, I'm a somebody. I'm a big person. But deep down energetically, you're showing me I'm not worth it. I'm not worthy. And it's like, sure you are. You just have to believe it yourself. Maybe it just needs a little bit of extra fire or oomph. Um, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, like I said, show up tomorrow. We'll talk about who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, an earth sign, or water. They're all here. Goodbye.